Hi there, welcome to this video where I tell you the 5 key aerial shots you need to get with your drone for a real estate listing. Getting this footage will help you get a faster edit when you go and create a teaser video for your listing. My name is Brad and I want to help you improve your videos by posting a tip video every single week. And if that interests you, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. In this video I'm going to tell you all about the shots you need to get for a real estate teaser video. But you can also use them for a long form video and you can use some of them to get some pictures. But this video is mostly about making videos. Teaser videos are about 30 to 60 seconds long and they're all about getting a prospective client excited about possibly buying a property. Make sure you get 10 or 15 seconds of usable video with each of these shots. You are also going to want to add three to five seconds at the beginning and at the end of each video just to make sure you have a little extra space. Now you may only use five or ten seconds from each one of these shots but you want to make sure you have more than enough usable footage for each shot so that you can get the very very best. Each one of these key shots can actually be shot in multiple different ways so it gives you a lot of variety to use in your video so they don't look exactly the same every single time. Now let's start out with the reveal. For smaller properties you want to have something that's like in the way like maybe a tree or a car or maybe even a mailbox. Something that you can hide the house or the property the building behind and then come around and show the, the property. For larger properties you may have a lot more options. The best thing is if you have like a hill or even a bunch of trees that you can come up and over and fly over and then show the building as you fly up and over these things and reveal the building. The whole point is to have something hiding the building or the house and then showing it and revealing it in a very dramatic fashion. And if you have enough room, one of the things you can do is you can tilt the camera down towards the ground so that the building is not seen, fly towards the building and then maybe even ascend a little bit, tilt up, and then possibly even fly over the building. The second key shot is some sort of orbit or point of interest. This one is easy because most drones have a program that allows you to do an orbit or a point of interest. Basically, you get at a certain height. Sometimes, you know, you can fly between 100 150 feet up and maybe 50 to 75 feet away and just do a nice orbit around the building. Uh, you can experiment with different heights. Just make sure that when you do it that you check if you're going to fly kind of low that there's no trees, poles, telephone lines or anything in the way because then that is going to be kind of disastrous to your drone. The number three key shot is the straight down shot which is one of the more flexible ones. You can do it, you know, obviously you're flying above the property looking straight down. You can do it where you're over the building and you can go ascend away from the building or you can descend towards the building. You can also do an ascension with a little bit of spin or descension with spin or you can just spin. You can also use it where you're off to one side and then you go over it. You can do it at an angle. You can come up and over, you know, all kinds of different things. You know, use your brain, use your creative juices and do different shots of that style. But remember, you don't want to have 5,000 shots to go through for one property. Do these different things for different properties and just experiment as you go along and as you do more properties. The number four key aerial shot is the flyover, which again gives you a lot of variety. You can start low, go over the building, go high. You can use a tilt as you go over. You can fly really, really high and just fly right over it. All kinds of different things. Try different angles, different heights. There are so many different things. You can start at say about a four foot level and then ascend over the front door or over the garage or whatever and you can add a tilt to it like I said before. The fifth and final key aerial shot is what I call the 75 foot shot. Of course 75 foot is just a guideline. It gets you a nice height so that you can get down and look onto the property and you want to do a little bit of movement with that and of course the camera is going to be tilted down. You can go in any direction. You can kind of, don't do a flyover, but you want to do a side to side shot. So you want to kind of get something, maybe a mini orbit or something, a little bit of yaw to it. But really the goal is to get that, that shot that everybody really wants that gives a really good overview of the house and sometimes you can use that as the final shot of the video and a little bonus tip while you're doing these shots do not make minor adjustments while you're doing the shot if you find that you don't have the right framing or the right angle or you're flying in there a little bit wrong basically stop go back to the beginning and start over because you don't really want to have those little jerky motions while you're in the video because that will distract the potential buyers there are more shots that you can get and if you have a favorite one feel free to leave it in the comments below and let everybody know what you think is a really good shot because that will just help us all out. In the next video I'm going to show you how to take all of these shots and put them together and make a great 30 to 60 second teaser video. 
Thank you for watching the video, and if you got something out of it, please click that like button. I put a tip video up every single week, so if you want to see more like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button, and don't forget to share it amongst your friends. Now click over here to see another helpful tip video, and until next time, fly safe, and bye!